We've got a watch from the Dartmouth brand, and it's not a Spinnaker, but it's very similar packaging. It's the Aviate. It's the Hurricane Hawker, which is actually being released today if you're watching this video when it's released on July 22nd. We're going to take a deep dive and take a look to see what all the hype's all about on this episode of... Hello everyone, welcome to Average Joe Watch Reviews, where we do more than just reviews. Today actually is July 19th, which is only a few days before the embargo, the release of the Hawker Hurricane by AV8. This is the first time that this watch has been, well, AV8 has been on the channel. And I must say... I have been thoroughly impressed with the short time that I've had the watch. Now, with that being said, it's still not the watch for me, and I will get into that later on in the video. But if you have a huge wrist and you like bigger watches, this watch is right up your alley. And I think one of the first things that I just want to talk about, which is one of my favorite features of this watch, is this large crown I've always wanted a large crown and well here it is guys it's a very very large crown now when we take a look and as you can see the bullseye right there actually matches the bullseye on the dial as well all right now I'm gonna start from the outside and work my way in because take a look at this brushwork the brushwork is actually done extremely nicely. I mean, extremely. I, I have to say that that is extremely... <laughs> I'm using the word extremely a lot because I'm impressed by the machine work with this uh, stainless steel here. Very, very nicely done, I must say. Now... I'm going to I'm going to say something here. Uh, first impressions when I opened this when I opened or should I say when I took it out of the box and I looked at the dial. The first thing that came to my mind because I have not seen this watch until I unboxed it myself um, last night. Now, first thing I saw was all this stuff that looked like cracks on the dial. It looked like the dial itself was broken. And obviously after closer inspection, you can see that that is just not the case. That is just like a map with all the land. And you can see here the airplane or the fighter plane. Very, very neat. Here's another Easter egg for you. Check that flag out right there. How cool is that? Can you guys name the flag? Comment down below. 165 feet of water resistance. And you'll also notice on our inner chapter ring, you've got actually, you know, one through 12, which is a traditional clock. And of course on the outer track, which is a traditional, more like a traditional pilot watch, you've got the minutes. Now the one here is actually done in blue and the rest of it is done in red. I don't know the significance behind that, but it's just an observation and just another Easter egg for you. Now the date window, I actually am taking issue with. Now this is a close up, but when we actually bring it back and you would actually see this on the wrist, um, we're actually in really good lighting right now, so we could see the date. But even with the good lighting, you could see that there's going to be some shadow areas. I think the date just kind of, first of all, is too small. And it's sunken too far below the dial so that there is some of those shadow points. And it does get hard to see. So 
I think with a pilot watch you could actually do without the date and I think a lot of you guys would agree as well. Now this watch does have pretty decent loom and I'm, and I'm gonna give you guys a loom shot but now the thing that I'm not liking about this watch alright cuz I don't want to leave you guys hanging when we pull the crown out twice check that out there is no hacking function of the second hand okay and that is because we are utilizing an automatic movement but not just any automatic movement I'm actually not sure what the movement is at this point because this watch has not been released. But, as I know, it's an automatic movement that does not hack. Okay, so that's the first thing I'm not liking about this watch. There's a lot that I like about this watch. Don't get me wrong. I don't, I don't want to make this a negative video because I'm actually, as I said in the beginning, I'm very impressed by the build quality. And I, and I think it's a very attractive watch. I think the few things that I'm not liking about it, it's just a personal preference and not, a, not necessarily a knock on the watch itself. Now, as I stated, this is a large watch. This watch is measuring in, and we're going to get our calipers out here. It is measuring in at a good 46 millimeters, okay? And that's a large watch. I mean, look... I know the pilot watches are large, and that's within the uh, specs of a pilot watch. So, you know, again, that's why I'm saying it's a personal preference for me. Now, this crown, check that out. We're looking at a 9 millimeter crown. Now, you guys are saying, well, what does that mean, right? Well, so the Seiko Passage obviously doesn't have, it does have a large crown, in my opinion, for a watch of this stature but when you look at it side by side you can see how much larger that is but when we measure that was nine millimeters for the aviate the seiko even though it is a big crown this one is measuring in at there we go right at our seven millimeters so again pretty pretty large um, I'm gonna take a more traditional crown. Actually, you know what? Let me let me bring in the Tudor because the Tudor has what I would call a large crown as well. And this one's coming in at an eight millimeter, eight millimeter crown. So here we go: seven millimeter, eight millimeter, nine millimeter. And these are actually bigger crowns. I mean, if you take a look at a more traditional crown, uh, I'm gonna take this um, this DIY watch that I built, for instance. And guys, if you have not uh, checked out DIY, I'm gonna leave the video up in the card here. And also there's a link down below. Check them out, guys. Makes the perfect gift. It's a gateway to uh, watch modding. And it's just a lot of fun. It's like a jigsaw puzzle for the watch nerd. Um, I actually have done two of these projects, but um, I'm actually just bringing this out for, because it's actually the closest one to me. And this is a more traditional crown, right about a six, 6.6, .6, almost seven. So when I'm saying the Seiko is, it just looks large because it doesn't have the crown protectors, right? It's all in um, how you, uh, you know, and, and again, with the Tudor, no crown protector. So it makes the crowns look bigger. When it's in a crown protector, though, the crown guards, I should say, it does kind of make the crown look a little bit smaller. But I'm definitely getting off of topic here, guys. So let's get back on topic, which is the star of the show right here. The AV8 does have AR coating. Check that out. When you put it in certain lights, you see that blue AR coating working over time. Check that out. Boom. 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 Right? Love it. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's an upgrade. It's an upgrade feature. And um, that's I, I like seeing that from companies. Now, we're going to take our trusty diamond selector because, again, I don't have the specs of the watch in front of me. This is actually a watch that was just given to me. Um, before the release so and I'm looking on the website I don't see any specs on it yet so I don't know whether or not this has sapphire so we're gonna check it out here and it absolutely does boom all right 
and it does have that solid case back which I showed you right here when we go into more dimensions of the watch our lug width is at a 22 millimeter pretty standard and then our width doesn't look too chunky but we're looking at about a 13 and a half to actually a little bit more than a 13 and a half we're actually approaching more uh, towards the 14 so we round off to about 14 millimeters pretty pretty standard not too bad for an automatic and it does come with this beautiful genuine leather um, it does actually flare out and then tapers all right I like the way it's done it's got a really nice clasp that is also uh, brushed and you've got the AV8 uh, logo there I do like this clasp it actually does look more premium than your typical you know cheap skate ones and I'm not like I'm not gonna tell the brand of this but this is more of a generic cheapy type uh, clasp as a comparison to this okay this is branded with the aviate branding there and I do like the little touch of the tweed I believe you would say um, that's actually stitched here all right and you also have genuine leather there comfortable thicker too it's a thicker um, leather you know we're measuring in around almost three and a half millimeters for uh, the width so it's a chunky monkey but out of the box it is very very pliable so very very nice touch there um, because this one actually looking at it it looks like it would need some time to acclimate I put this right on my wrist and it was comfortable immediately um, we're gonna set the time here again no hacking uh, we're clicking out the crown twice and as we can see the handset moves a little bit too easy for my liking you know I don't I don't like I'm not liking the the feel of that it's a little a um, little too free for me um, again personal preference guys I'm not saying anything more than that the crown actually is solid you know a crown this big you would expect it to be a little wobbly um, this thing is not wobbly at all so I'm impressed with how steady that crown is and then we get our date change see how closely we can get to 12 boom very respectable right around 1157 and if you want to change the date I usually change it at 6 but because the date window is at the 6 o'clock position I kind of get that out of the way there um, and then we click it out once and we actually go counterclockwise and we get solid changes now there is a saying on the bottom and I never took Latin in school I'm not a physician but I'm gonna do my best here uh, in omnibus princeps again I have no documentation whatsoever so I'm literally flying blindly here guys so you see what I did there so I'm gonna put on the wrist and give you guys some wrist presents now I have a seven inch wrist and I'm actually on the fourth hole. Um, you know, it amazes me how many watch companies have leather straps where you're, uh, I have a seven inch wrist, I'm at the last hole. So it amazes me because I don't feel like I have an average. I mean, look, you know, maybe I'm at an average, but like there's people that have wrist sizes that are below and they gotta put holes. Like, you know, so I'm, I'm, it's nice to see that they actually made this uh, that could fit a variety of wrists. You can see there's plenty of room for larger wrists as well. Since this is a larger watch, um, you're gonna have more of the larger sizes on the, the leather. Now we take a look at it on the wrist, and as you can see, the way that I wear my watches, this crown is gonna press into my arm or my hand. I like to wear it right at the bone, if not above the bone, okay? With this particular watch, especially if I'm like getting up from somewhere, that's gonna dig right in there. So with a watch like this, I have to wear it below the uh, the the, uh, the bone here, and this way I have that clearance. As you can see, that could cause a little bit of damage there, guys. Um, if, especially if you're like you're getting up or you fell, uh, that crown can dig into your hand. So uh, I think it's pretty neat though. Um, I, I do love that. I, it's it's really true and reminiscent of a a, a pilot watch. So um, 
I'm not a fan of the dial in regards to the uh, the land here. Um, I think it just it, it, it doesn't come off well in my opinion. But um, that's again another personal preference. I think I think a, a either a flat dial or maybe even a sunburst would have looked pretty cool. Um, maybe even like a fume effect would actually would look, look cool as well. Um, but you know I like the way it's laid out. It's definitely very colorful and it's very different. Um, but I just it's just too large for my wrist. And um, it's a shame because I really, I think if this thing was at least a 44, um, I think this would actually stay in my collection. So I'd love to hear what you guys uh, think of this watch down below. Um, so before I go, I'm going to put this on the time graph and show you the accuracy of, for right now, this unknown movement. So let's check it, take a look at the accuracy. All right, so let's go over the positives. <clears throat> it's got great loom that lasts for a good amount of time, especially for a pilot's watch. Was not expecting the loom to be as nice as it, as it was. You can see the time lapse here. Uh, loving the crown, I think it's uh, really um, just one of the highlights of this watch. It's just so big and uh, juicy. I mean, what can I tell you? It's an awesome, awesome uh, crown. I think the build quality of this is great. Um, you've got some great brushwork here. Um, some of the better brushwork I have seen, uh, for, especially for a watch in this price range. The leather strap is actually really comfortable, comes out of the box, um, ready to wear. You don't have to break it in, despite it being um, a little over three millimeters thick. Uh, very, very nice. Uh, it's very colorful, okay? Now some of the negatives. Whatever movement they're using here, it's being at a 21,600 uh, movement. I believe it's some type of Miota. Uh, we're looking at, uh, when we took, put it on the time graph, not very impressive, um, minus right around 30 seconds. And you know, quite frankly, this watch does a lot of things right. The other uh, negative for me was that dial. I think just in certain lights, it just doesn't look like it's correct. It looks like it's broken. Um, it looks like shattered a shattered dial. That again, that's my preference. Uh, for me, the watch is too large for my seven inch wrist. But again, when we're looking at pilot watches, pilot watches are large, usually within the 44 to 46 range. So, Again, personal preference, seven inch wrist, little too large for myself. If you have a seven, I would say seven and a quarter, seven and a half and above, this watch is gonna wear very, very nicely. So that's my two cents, guys. You can keep the change and always remember that there's always time to be kind to one another. Please take care of each other and I'll see you guys next time on Average Joe Watch Reviews. God bless my friends.